Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. All right, so today we are continuing this new journey of Hannibal. We are getting into episodes three and episodes four. You guys were real excited that I started this, so I'm really excited to continue this. I really enjoyed the first two episodes. I'm curious to see what the rest of season one is going to bring. I guess season one is a little bit more police procedural type stuff, whereas as seasons two and three get bonkers. The first two episodes have already been a little bit bonkers, so God only knows what's in store for me. I was hooked with the first two episodes. I really enjoy it. Curious to see where it's gonna go and really excited to be able to go through this journey with all of the fans of the show. So before we get into the episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. And feel free to check me out on social media. I have Instagram and I have Twitter. Let's get into episode three and then after Afterwards, episode four of, oh my god, I almost said Hawkeye, of Hannibal. <laughs> Alright, so these this is this is the guy that tried to cut her throat and then killed himself in the first end of the first episode. So we're doing flashbacks to him. Aw, baby. Don't shoot the deer. <laughs> Stop it. See? I like deer. Leave them alone. They care about each other. They care about their environment. They tread lightly through the underbrush because they don't want to hurt the plants. All right, so she still has a soul. Her hide is going to make a beautiful rug. Her leg bones we can carve into knives. Now, what in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is this? Stop. I don't know how I'm going to feel about eating her after all this. Eating her is honoring her. Otherwise, it's, it's just... Murder. Ah! The f***? I always wondered what that would be like. Like if you were in a coma and you woke up and you had, I believe oxygen tube. I don't know if the oxygen tubes go down your throat or they go down your nose or if the feeding tubes go down your throat, your nose. Either way, you woke up with a tube in your throat. Like when you start choking, that's a nightmare. Oh, okay, sure. Didn't hear you drive up. Hybrid, great car for stalking. I'm compelled to go cover myself. You don't have to. I have brothers. Well, I'll put a robe on just the same. Do you want a cup of coffee? D I need to stop. I also like the fact that you rattle Jack. He respects you far too much to yell at you no matter how much he wants to. I can't tell if she has romantic feelings for him or she just, knowing that he's a little bit different, she just wants to protect him. Dogs keep a promise a person can't. I'm not collecting another stray. Oh, interesting. She equated his sort of like protective relationship that he sort of developed with the daughter that is in the hospital. She equated that to picking up strays like the dogs, which obviously as we know that he, he picks up strays because he, his house is literally like Dr. Doolittle's house. So that's interesting. So that's like a, a, an emotional thing that he has is whenever there's somebody that he can't save perhaps, or he feels like he's saved, it's reflected by him picking up another stray dog. So I wonder if all of the other dogs that he has are supposed to be reflective of previous cases that he's perhaps worked on where there was somebody that he felt like he failed to help. Ooh, that's clever. What do you specialize in? Family drama. I asked the nurses if my parents were dead and they wouldn't tell me. They are. They're real dead. I'm sorry you had to wait. I know they're dead. She's gorgeous though and she has i know i've said this a bunch with different people and other videos but she has a very i don't know like calming presence to me oh yeah i think i'm gonna really like her character i want to sell the house i guess it's mine now i can use the money for college get an apartment something seems a little sus there she seems super casual i don't know if it's just denial but she's super casual about the fact that her family is dying or is dead and now she just wants to use the money i don't trust it I've got a stack of gift cards. I don't do well redeeming gift cards. Probably says something about you. Lies, lies. No, she doesn't trust her either. There's something. I wonder if Lawrence Fishburne's character was right that she is in on it. You really think Abigail Hobbs helped her father kill those girls? I think it's a possibility that needs to be ruled out. She knows something. 
she's hiding something. So she might be protecting him, the dad, or somebody else. I think she's hiding something. It may simply be a trauma. Yeah, could also be more. See? The uh, Minnesota Shrike abducted and murdered eight girls over an eight-month period. They all look similar, too. He has a type. The killer who did wanted us to know he wasn't the Minnesota Shrike. He was better than that. So Hannibal killed the girl in the field. Why though? Did he appreciate him from afar or did he engage him? Did he ingratiate himself into Hobbes' life? It's almost like he's getting off on knowing that like he's talking about him. I feel like he's like this type of like killer psychopath Hannibal that gets off on getting so close to being caught. So you're not a doctor, a nurse, or a psychiatrist. I'm a journalist. This bitch, what is Glenda doing here now? She doesn't stop, Gail Weathers. How about you tell me what you know? Your dad was the Minnesota Shrike. He killed eight girls. Eight girls that looked just like me. What does she know? Perception is the most important thing in your life right now. I don't care what anybody thinks. This conniving little bitch. Is she gonna be killed off soon? Cause she's on my nerves already. Special Agent Will Graham. By special agent, he means not really an agent. He didn't get past the screening process. Too unstable. How is she allowed in here? She's literally interfering with a police investigation. Get her the f out. Oh, I'm heated. Lord, please forgive me for beating this bitch ass today, Lord. Lord, please forgive me for thinking about beating her ass again, Lord. Do you remember us? I remember you. He killed my dad. Yeah, honey, he was cutting your throat. You say he was loving? I believe it. That's what you brought out in him. It's not all I brought out in him. She's got a point. I'm gonna be messed up, aren't I? Yeah, honey, probably. So killing somebody, even if you have to do it, it feels that bad. <laughs> not for Hannibal. <laughs> Special Agent Graham. I never formally introduced myself. I'm Freddie Lowndes. Lock her ass up. You told her I was insane. I can undo what I said. I can also make it a lot worse. Lock her up. Hannibal needs to eat her. She, he just needs to eat her and get, just be rid of her. Cause she's on my nerves. She's on my nerves. Ooh. There must be some small comfort knowing that justice was served. My sister was impaled on a severed stag head. There's no comfort in that. No, no, no. You can't, you can't talk to this woman and expect like genuine empathy and sympathy and understanding. She's evil. That's gotta suck. They should just like, not witness protection, but they should just help her relocate, give her a new name, let her start from scratch. Assuming she wasn't involved, who knows? I was sort of expecting a body outline and chalk. They only do that if you're still alive. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Can you catch somebody's crazy? Folie à deux. It's a French psychiatric term. Madness shared by two. It's also the name of a Fall Out Boy album. Are we gonna reenact the crime? You be my dad. You be my mom, and you be the man on the phone. Is she like cracked or something? Like she seems really excited about this. Everybody on the block was on the news and everyone at school. Such whores. What? I don't think you did it. Oh shit. How'd you trap my sister? Did you chat her up? Hey, piss off! Yeah, that'll do it. My sister's lungs while she was still using. Maybe I will do it. Come home. Can you stop being such a bitch? These teens are wildin' up in this show. Him and, his, him and these dreams, man. I know he doesn't like therapy, but he needs to find somebody else who isn't a cannibal to talk to about this, because this is not good for him. He made everything by himself. Glue, butter. He sold the pelts on eBay or in town. He was feeding them to us. Ew! Hannibal's like, this is just like a family tradition. Like, this is nothing, honey. But ew. Can you imagine if you bought like a purse or, or, or a jacket or something on eBay and it was made out of human flesh? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Your father. Oh, no. Okay, so obviously Han Hannibal did that, but why? 
why. Scraped his knuckle on her teeth. There's foreign tissue and what could be trace amounts of blood. What is the tissue that's on his teeth? Because if Hannibal killed him, or killed her, he wouldn't have allowed evidence like that to be left behind. Abigail! Slounce. You're on the wrong side of the police line. Per usual. I've just seen a young man. Ginger hair. Tell you if I saw him, if you tell me why it's important. Ooh. I hope he eats her with some f***ing Tabasco sauce. For real. <laughs> Ew, that's human hair. I didn't kill her. Oh, no, no, no. Man, it's, it's, the plot thickens and gets more convoluted. Whew. Abigail? Why did he just knock her out? This isn't self-defense, Abigail. You butchered him. I can help you. What is he gonna do? We can tell them you were defending yourself and you gutted this man. And we can hide the body. What? Hannibal's obviously playing the long game here, but I don't understand what his game is. Why would he help her hide the body? What's the motivation? The blood on her hands matches the tissue that we pulled from Marissa Shure's mouth. So the tissue that was on the girl's teeth was the tissue that was on the rock that she threw at his head. You're the one who called the house. Oh shit. I think who called the house as a serial killer. Just like my dad. Yep. 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 Give her the car. <laughs> All right, so that was episode three of season one of Hannibal. Another great episode. I don't really feel like I'm gonna be running into a lot of bad episodes, hopefully. Fingers crossed. No, this was a solid episode. Probably my favorite favorite so far because I feel like the first episode opened up a bunch of plots and the second episode sort of diverged and started talking about a little bit of a different story because we were focusing on a different serial killer whereas this one is bringing it back to the events of the first episode. I like that that was expanded upon. I do not in any way, shape or form understand what Hannibal's plan, his long-term game plan is with this because I don't understand why he helped her bury the body. I don't understand why he basically admitted to calling the house and warning that somebody was coming. Yes, I get that he lied to her, but she clearly didn't believe him. So I don't know what's going on with that. Will was obviously present, but took a little bit of a backseat this episode. It was a little bit more focused on Abigail, the daughter, and Hannibal. Will is cute though. We'll just put that out there. But yeah, I'm curious to see where we go next. All right, let's get into episode four. How did you feel seeing Marisha Shaw? Guilty. Why? Because I felt like I killed her. What? I felt like we were doing the same things at different times of day, like I was eating or showering or sleeping at the same time he was. Yeah, they need to pull Will off of this because he is cracking like an aluminum can every single episode. Wait. Crushed. Ew. Uh, now who's dead now? Oh no, 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 no. This is the last thing that this man needs. Oh, that was a cool effect. I wasn't invited. I take my seat at the head of the table. My seat, my place setting, next to Mrs. Turner. Is this a whole new murder? Like, what is this now? What do you see, Will? Family values. Whose family values? Did that just say Molly Shannon and Gina Torres? Girl, what? We're just gonna pretend like those names were wrong. I don't believe they're about to show up in this show. C can you, can you imagine? Oh my God. Now he's feeding them more human flesh. Leave the dogs out of it, Hannibal. Ooh, but that would be a clever way to get rid of all of his, uh, all the bodies. Just feed them to Will's dogs. What is that? Oh, it's a fishing line? Oh, he's hungry. Have you tried a Snickers? You're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Eat a Snickers. Okay, so we're returning back. We're not like 
flip-flopping and going back and forth. So we're still getting follow-up to the last narrative plot thread with her. Hiding what happened to you defeats the purpose of being here. Sharing will help normalize. I'm not normal. Not anymore. She's like, I'm not like other girls. I don't have a home anymore, do I? You will. You will. I'll help you find it. See, I like her. She's so nice. I hope she doesn't die. Do you have an appointment? Do you have a beer? Ooh, is she trying to clown? I defer to the passion of my esteemed colleague. Passion's good. Gets blood pumping. Is he gonna eat her? Her liver, obviously. You're nasty. There's forgiveness. What kind of victim forgives the killer at the moment of death? I mean, if you have a gun pointed at your forehead, maybe. A mother? A mother? So maybe the killer did kidnap the son and told her, I have your son. Maybe that's what happened in that situation. I think we'll discover you and I have a great deal in common with Abigail. She's already demonstrated an aptitude for the psychological. I wonder why. Did your family have money one? And we were poor. Always the new boy at school, always the stranger. Always. So he feels like a stray, which is why he empathizes with these victims. Specifically Abigail. And the dogs. A modified Buddha Noir from Alibab's Gastronomy Pratique. The whole f***ing show! This is episode four, and, and Hannibal has served people food every single episode, and you just know it's people. Not this. Will May feel the tug of life before the FBI, before you. Simpler times in boat yards with Dad. He needs an anchor jack. I can't tell if, like, Hannibal's actually trying to, like, s weirdly help Will. I don't know. I don't know what his game plan is. Aw, puppies. He's living my dream. In a nice little place in, in, in nature with tons of animals. I mean, I could do without the psychological trauma. But sure. Most of the time in sexual assaults, the bite mark has a livid spot at the center, a suck bruise. Ew. Class dismissed, everyone out. What did I just say? Let's go! He's a lot. He's very aggressive. We found a match to a set of prints we pulled from the Turner home. They belonged to a 13 year old boy from Reston, Virginia. Vanished 10 months ago. Case was never solved. What does that mean? So they found footprints inside the, this most recent crime scene of another kid who went missing? What? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Someone lit him up like a Christmas tree. Whew. Don't joke about that. So who is our additional corpse in the fireplace? Connor Frist. He'd been prepped to shoot his mother. Is he abducting this, okay, this new killer. Is he abducting kids and then using kids to commit murders in other scenes? I don't understand. Oh my God. Don't it is her. Molly Shannon, yes. The family you're born into isn't really family. Those are just people you didn't choose. You have to make family. That's what we're doing. We're making our family. Oh my God, is she crazy? Are you feeling okay, sweetie pie? He's fine. CJ. I've never seen her in a serious role. This is different. Because when you lose it to some guy named Junior with bad breath in the back of a van at a Guns N' Roses concert, you're gonna wish you listened to your mother when she said, you know, nobody's gonna wanna buy the whole friggin' ice cream truck when you're handing out the popsicles for free. <laughs> you should be excited to go home, even if it is to say goodbye, because we're your family now, Christopher. You can only have one family. God, she's aging beautifully. Oh, stunting. Oh, I got real gay there for a second. The bullet that put Mrs. Frist out of her misery matches three used in a murder in Bangor, Maine a year ago. Mother of a 13 year old boy shot to death with her own gun. Shit, yep. All these copycats. Oh no. He peed. But you shouldn't feel embarrassed. This happened with little bladders, right? 
What are they about to do? This poor kid, he's still salvageable. This one. This one is cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, man. You could see it in the eyes. Nothing behind them. I'm angry about those boys. I'm angry because I know when I find them, I can't help them. I can't, I can't give them back what they just gave away. Well, if Will had a shitty childhood and was basically by himself, I mean, he's getting really unlucky with these uh, murder cases and they all seem to be hitting really close to home for him. You could say I'm one of your guardians. Where are we going? My home. I thought you might enjoy if I cooked for you. Girl, and the Martha Stewart of human flesh. In the dream, I wonder how I could live with myself knowing what I did. And when you're awake? I'm awake, I know I can live with myself. I don't know about all that. I mean, I don't blame her. She was obviously acting in self-defense. She just went through a, a bunch of trauma. But Hannibal, 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 you sly dog, you. This show is gonna make me hate food, for real. Thought about applying for schools. My dad killed girls at all the schools I applied to. Yikes. Have you ever tried psilocybin? Mushrooms. There are those psychiatrists who believe that altered states could be used to access traumatic memory. He's gonna make her trip balls? You want me to do drugs? I want you to do this drug with my supervision. Do you trust me? No. Capture bonding. Passive psychological response to a new master has been an essential survival tool for a million years. Bond with your captor, you survive. So maybe, maybe the older, the older kid is experiencing this. So maybe he's not lost altogether. Dr. Bloom said this was okay. Not at all. We often have a difference of opinion. <laughs> he's like, don't break my shit. I'll eat you. Allow it to wash over you, through you. Let me be your guide. You're making breakfast for dinner? Say, how would you like some breakfast? Would you like some breakfast? It's 10 o'clock. What's that got to do with it? You have pancakes, any damn time of night you want. There's an adult with some formative sway. It's a woman, a mother figure, I think. She's looking to form a family. Like a Manson family? Whoever this woman is, she wants these children to burst with love for her. She has to erase their family to do that. Molly Shannon, you're evil. Wow, did not expect that from her when I saw her name in the opening credits. Christopher, Mama. <sighs> Ugh, that whole family is about to get slaughtered. Poor things. <laughs> Were they already dead? <laughs> oh shit. All right, well they saved the family at least. That's good. Don't shoot. Oh, if he shoots the kid, he, he he's a lost cause. Will is a lost cause at that point. Please. Oh, thank God. I mean, sorry Molly Shannon, but thank God. Oh my God, was I just rooting for a kid? What's happened to me? She told me that they weren't my family, that we had to make our own family. Do you have a family? I don't have any children, no. And you don't know what it's like. Damn, Ali Shannon did a number on him. That you would take my patient out of the hospital without my permission. I'm sorry. Rude. Animal, shockingly rude. <laughs> shockingly rude. She wasn't ready to leave the hospital. She experienced a bit of anxiety, so I gave her a sedative. Sedative? What did you give her? I only gave her half a volume. She's a doctor. She wouldn't be able to immediately tell that she's tripping on psychedelics. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Crazy family. Yep, she's cracked. She's gone. She's the lost cause. <gasps> Gina Torres. That's Jasmine. Yep, that's a power that be. That Ben. My God. People keep saying that. I think it's too late for us to have kids. It is for me. Oh no. Well, get a puppy, get a cat. Cats are great. All right, so that was episode four of Hannibal. Another great episode. I'm trying to figure out. So the first episode focused on the Abigail's father, that killer. And then the second episode shifted and focused on the killer that was like turning human beings into his own personal mushroom garden. The third episode went back to Abigail and her father. Now the fourth episode, while Abigail is obviously in this episode, this one focused on a brand new 
new set of murders. So I'm curious if this first season, if that's going to be sort of the format where one episode we expand upon one storyline and then the second episode we start pushing into other ones. They obviously didn't return to the storyline that was presented in the second episode. So I'm wondering if this will be the last that we see of Molly Shannon and those characters. But aside from that, another solid episode. I'm blown away that I got to see Molly Shannon in a super serious role because I've never seen her in, I've only, I've only seen her doing comedy. So to see her as a psychotic, kidnapping serial killer mama. That was new. And she had one line, but Gina Torres is fabulous. I love Gina Torres, okay? All right, let me know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments, and I will see you next week.